Are you ready to see Auntie Bex? She carried you for a whole seven months. Oh, she's going to think this is so much bigger. So it's a big day today because Bex, our surrogate, the lady that carried Cosmo and Apollo for all that time, is coming to see us with her family. I just can't wait for her to see how well they're doing. The reason why she's down is because she was meant to be down anyway, because today was the day you were meant to be born. But you decided to come seven weeks early, didn't you? Oh, that ears feel like jelly. <laughs> <laughs> We've had so many questions and comments about our surrogacy, so hopefully in this episode, we can share what it's like from our point of view. Do you think they look a lot bigger? Oh, absolutely. Oh, so much better. Yeah. Sort of... Could you imagine, right, if we actually went to the full day, they would have been inside you nope. now? Nope. Not a chance. There's no way it would have happened. They wouldn't have fit. Their placenta. Absolutely not. Yeah. And two placentas on top yeah, of that. No. no. We would have been wheeling around in a wheelbarrow. You were enormous then. I was huge. I'm ready to burst. They both have goblin ears. Goblin, I guess. <laughs> the elf ears. It's my favourite thing about him. Half elf. Oh. It's literally my favourite thing in the world. I when is Christmas he flies to Santa? He will, yeah. Ollie and Gareth really wanted babies and they wished they had one and their wish come true. Bex's two children, Ollie and Rudy, are amazing. And they're like little cousins to Apollo and Cosima. Isn't it weird that it would have been literally this day, if they had stayed in, it would have been this day that... that you would have been enormous. There's no way you would have done it. They, would wouldn't, been... they wouldn't have fit it in, no. I want to be able to walk. You were so big. I was huge, and I struggled to walk. You've got the, the most smile. perfect nose and lips. It's all where you're thinking that they were both in here, and now it's just crazy. Yeah, without you, they wouldn't have been here. No, we owe you a lot. A lot of people, friends and family, have said, "Do you feel attached? How are you going to see? Like, feel when you see them? It's just." It's like seeing your brother have a baby. It's, it's like that, it's not, I don't feel like they're mine or any connection in that way. It's just really nice to finally see them two have something that they've wanted for so long and being through so much heartache to get there. It's just, it's lovely, it's really nice. I'm so glad you're down here though, it's so nice to be able to Yeah, like... it's lovely to be able to see them and spend time with you both. It seems so weird because we haven't seen you in like five weeks. That's probably the longest time we haven't seen each other in like, what, a year and a half? And the last time Ollie was just sobbing in that restaurant. Yeah. But this is all, this is the end result, isn't it? This is the picture that, that I was waiting for, just to see you two holding them two. That's At it. Home. Family complete. Family complete. Job done. Two. Two is enough. Two's enough. Oh, yeah. yeah, uh, no, yeah. Even for you. Okay, yeah. yeah, you're like, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> no more. <laughs> no more. I'm not going to, no. No, you're not having any more. Is I'm that funny? <laughs> yes, it is funny, isn't it? Bex is amazing, and I think people who do surrogacy in general, it is an incredible, incredibly kind thing to do. All around the world, any surrogate is just extraordinary by helping a family that otherwise couldn't have children. You both look so natural with them. It's so lovely to see. So you have to feed them one eye after the other, but then when one knows one's being fed, the other one starts to cry. So we feed them every like four hours. Oh, I love it. I love seeing you with them. It's the best. Like, I know we're probably biased, but they're so pretty. I think so Aren't as well. They? I think they've took to it like a duck to water. Just, it looks so natural with them, which is amazing. I've said from the beginning, it's all I've wanted to do is to just see them two with the babies. Do you remember every scan we had? And I was just like, something, something would have gone wrong. Something's wrong. And then, I used like, to get so nervous. I was so nervous. And you're like there, and you're waiting. It's like, then they measure the femur, then they measure the bladder, then and I'm like, to say everything's all right. Oh, all I want, to, all I want a doctor in that situation to do is look at the entire thing. Like, They're good. Now we're going to do the measurements. It was just terrifying. You always get, you just get really nervous, and I've always just been very much. They're fine. Everything's yeah. good. I mean, don't even get us started on vaginal suppositories. Oh, that, that was a, an experience, I imagine. That was lovely to go through that for months. <laughs> it's been such a long journey to get here, and it's not been easy, has it? No, it was our fourth round, where. Bex got pregnant with the twins, and that changed our lives forever. We're very lucky to have her in our lives. Oh, it does make me feel really proud. Imagine what we feel in uh, light of what you've done for us. Uh, so it seems like it's been a really long journey, about two years. Unfortunately, had the miscarriage first time round. But it's sort of, I always think things happen for a reason. And if that hadn't happened, we wouldn't have the twins now. So. It's, it's so sad at that point, but everything happens for a reason. 
Is it everything you thought it would be so far? It's all right. It's, quite, it's amazing. I fucking love it. It's incredible. But you can't literally... give them back. Yeah, there you go. You've got her. I mean, you, you can have him now. Oh, lovely. Hello. It's not a chance I could have carried these two around. They're such a weight. I'll sit now and again, and it'll be. It'll hit us all of a sudden. Like, I've had, I've had babies for two people. It's like, it's amazing. Like, I've created a family. And. Yeah, it just sometimes hits us and it's so proud that I feel of myself. And I'd love that my boys will hopefully grow up and see that one day and they'll be proud of what I've done as well. We're very, very, very proud, proud of our mummy because she's very special to us. And she's very kind. And we never knew she was going to do this. Yes. When she told us, me and, me and my brother were super duper surprised and we were so happy, weren't we, buddy? Yes. Thank you, Bex, for being so unbelievably wonderful. And to all the surrogates around the world, you literally do change lives. So thank you. We love you very much. And the twins will love you so much. And if having Bex and the family isn't enough, our day is far from over. Yeah, this is even a weird one for us. We have to go and film an advert, a very odd one. Yeah, this is a, a fairly standard day for me, I think. I have to pretend to give birth to a microphone. So run me through it, what is it? So you're, we're basically, it's gonna be like you're going into labor. Yeah. And we're running through like the gurney hitting doors we're going through and then you're in like a room. Abandoned hospital, yeah. Is that where we're filming? Yeah. And then I give birth to a microphone and we're really proud and that's like the, the birth of the podcast, it's the advert. So today we're filming an advert for our brand new podcast, Newly Dads. We're doing it with Jamie Lang's podcast company, Jampot, uh, and they've got some very unique ideas about how to launch it. This is so weird. <laughs> it's a bit like Saw. Strap you to the bed. <laughs> yeah. I've created a new fetish. Oh, that is not... Men with bumps. Yeah. You're so welcome. Come here, come here, come here. Gareth's always been one of those kind of people that you'd about look at him and be like, oh, he's one of those people that like bumps. Is that comfortable? This, there's something on that, by the way. Is that? Oh, oh come on. Have you got your little bum? It will took you out the back. No. You need to take off your thing so you can see your bum at the back. Touch right. them. You know when you see. That's our babies. <laughs> That's so weird. It's our babies. <laughs> you love all this. It's actually quite scary how well you get into character. Yeah, well, this is, this is what real actors do, all right? God, this is where you tell me for the 300th time that you're classically trained. <laughs> well, I was. I did go to drama school a long time ago. This is where it all works out. Thank you. can write it. Where's your study, darling? Oh, Gerada. Gerada? Well, I did a year there. Oh, well, you are an actor, right? Thanks very much. Huh? Is this where you thought you'd end up in your acting career? All right, enough. Just let me get into character, OK? <laughs> I think in, in this, this sense, we're just giving birth to one. It's one very, very pretty microphone. People think I've gone completely bonkers. It's giving me like anxiety. I need like a Xanax. And action. <laughs> Get Love. Right. Okay. God knows what my face looks like. I actually think you've lost the plot. I think the sleep deprivation with the babies has finally got to you. I don't think Gareth needs to go quite a quick. Well, it's your screaming that sort of made me go quick. Yeah, yeah. Did you want to slow down or? I think maybe slightly, because then otherwise yeah, it's. I think all you do is slightly slow on. This is going to be you for the rest of your life now. Finally doing everything for you. I feel like I got a genuine glimpse of our future. <laughs> what, me in a wheelchair? What, I genuinely think I will be the one doing the caring. It's a lot of Onto the bed. <laughs> Okay, breathe, 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 breathe. Get it out of me, Doc! Brace yourselves. It's coming. Woo! Woo! What I love is the actor playing the doctor who can't get his gloves on. Yeah, I felt like I was screaming for hours. Yeah, because you were. It's really coming! Woo! <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? All right, that'll wrap. Yeah, you guys done. Thank you, guys. Well done, guys. Thank you so much. I mean, we won a BAFTA for Chelsea. Surely it's time for an Oscar now. 
<laughs> I can see it now, Reese Witherspoon giving you an Oscar for the most melodramatic moment for giving birth to a microphone. Could happen. I mean, it's a bit weird that we've just sat there and I pretended to give birth to a microphone. When I look at my, look at my diary and I'm just like, look at the series of things we've got to do in a day. It's bloody bizarre sometimes. Shameless plug here. If you're enjoying our Daddy Diaries on YouTube, make sure you check out our brand new podcast, Newly Dads. Download from wherever you get your podcasts now. You always wanted to say that. I really have, I have, I have. Also, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and you can catch up on all the other episodes below.